Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. So we're going on video three within the last seven days. Your girl is on a roll. So in today's video, I'm going to be introducing you guys to Curl Smith's new curl quiz. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It's basically just a quiz that um, helps you figure out which Curl Smith products would be best for you based off of your hair type, texture, porosity, density, strand size, all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much how I got this bomb wash and go. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty familiar with Curlsmith's products already, so, so most of the products that were selected for me I've already used and those are already some of my favorites, but I'm going to be putting you guys on in case you're not too sure which Curlsmith products would be best for you. But yeah, so if you want to see how I got this bomb, bomb wash and go combo with this bomb color, then definitely stay tuned because it is giving, everything is supposed to gay, so let's get into it. I'll go ahead and leave a link to the Curlsmith Curl Quiz in the description box, but it's pretty easy to find literally if you just Google Curlsmith Curl Quiz. So the first thing it asks you is to select which image looks more most like your hair. So I was stuck between the last two. Um, I want to say I'm a good mixture of the two of those, I guess you could say. But I went with the second one because my hair is more likely to look like that than it is to look like the first picture. Now the next thing it focuses on is density. So if you look at the top of your head where your parting is, can you see your scalp? So, so although I like to consider myself in the middle of medium and high density, I can definitely see a bit of scalp. Next question focuses on porosity. So to be honest with y'all, I feel like I have different porosities all over my head, but that's a conversation for another day. My hair does take a little while to get wet and it takes the entire day to dry. So, I, so that's the answer I went with. Now this next one focuses on strand size. So to be honest with you, I've actually never taken the time to try and figure out what my strand size is. So this is actually pretty helpful. How often I wash my hair really depends on what content I have going on, but at a minimum, I would at least say once a week. Now we're almost done. This one was pretty easy. Which best describes the result I want from my, from my stylers? Definitely stronghold and frizz control. And lastly, my hair needs, hair concerns, definitely want to moisturize dry hair, detangle knotty hair, and of course, steel hair to protect against humidity. Also, make sure you guys take advantage of the 10% off coupon they give you once you complete your quiz. So these are my results. Um, most of it I kind of sort of already knew. And these are the products they selected for me. The Wash & Scrub Probiotic Detox, which I love. The Postbiotic Common Conditioner, one of my favorite conditioners. The Hold Me Softly Balm, I've actually never used that. And the InStyle Shower Fixer, which is my go-to Curlsmith gel. You guys have seen me use most of these products already, so I'll try my best to keep it brief. And you guys also already know how my wash day routine goes, wetting my hair, making sure that it's drenched in water. First product I'm going in with is the Wash & Scrub Detox Probiotic, which as you guys can see, has a great lather. It leaves my hair feeling so clean. Keep in mind it is a clarifier, so you probably don't want to use it every single wash day if you're not a shampoo person, but personally, I love it. I experiment with lots of products, so a clarifier is very much necessary in my routine. Also, just a suggestion, if you're struggling with retaining moisture, if you're struggling to get pop and wash and goes, and you're only using co-washes, I definitely recommend you guys invest in a good shampoo. Now that I got a good lather in, no strand left behind, I'm rinsing that out. My hair is squeaky clean without feeling parched and straw-like. As you guys can see, my hair has a lot of movement to it, stiff wear. Now the next product I'm going in with is their Postbiotic Common Conditioner. This stuff is so bomb, you guys. It's so hydrating and it has amazing slip. For those of you who aren't already familiar with my detangling routine, I like to go in and finger detangle, then follow up with my tangle teaser to make sure that I've thoroughly detangled my hair from roots to ends. And then I twist that section up. But yeah, you guys, look how hydrated my hair looks, how juicy it looks. Not to mention, I love the way it clumps my curls. And if a conditioner doesn't clump my curls, that's a problem. Now I'm just rinsing out the conditioner. So typically I would deep condition after the step, but it's not necessary because I recently washed my hair. So this is not my full wash day routine. So I'm gonna skip the deep conditioning and jump straight into the styling portion. But before putting any product in my hair, I just wanted to show you guys how defined and hydrated and moisturized this piece of hair looks with no product at all. This was just right after rinsing out the conditioner. Now I'm just applying the Hold Me Softly Style Balm. So to be honest with you, I actually prefer the multitasking conditioner as a leave-in rather than using uh, the balm. The balm feels more like a cream styler rather than a leave-in and, and I prefer to use a more hydrating product as my primer. 
Now I'm going in with the In Shower Style Fixer, which is my all time favorite gel from Curlsmith. So you guys will notice I am not being as thorough as I normally would be. I'm kind of like, not wouldn't necessarily say half-assing it, but using pretty big sections, but that's because I'm gonna be going in with another styler, so. Now these last products I'm going in with is Curlsmith's hair makeup. So I'm going in with copper and gold to get that beautiful, vibrant color you guys saw in the beginning of the video. So these stylers actually have a good amount of hold and give me quite a bit of definition, hence why, like I was saying earlier, I, was, I wasn't as thorough when applying the style fixer. Now that I finished styling my hair, I'm going to sit under the dryer, let my hair dry, and come back to you guys with my unstretch results, and then of course with my stretch results. But let me know how you guys are feeling so far. I'm just loving how defined my hair looks. It literally looks flawless. This is what my unstretched hair is looking like. Trust the process, disregard the fact that I have not shaped my hair yet, but definition is still very much popping. My hair has a lot of crunch to it, but in a good way, so you know the hold is gonna be A1. Something about brighter colors just really make my coils pop. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. Are we feeling it or is it just me? Yeah, I'm obsessed. I love it. Love, 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 love how this look came together. You gotta trust the process. I wasn't too sure how I felt about it when I first finished styling my hair. Like, I don't know, I wasn't sure if I was feeling the color like that, but I am in love now that I've stretched my hair, shaped my hair. Also, like I was telling you guys before, it's been such a long time since I've rocked uh, the no part wash and go, but I'm feeling it. What do you guys think? This color really pronounces my curls, makes my curls pop, the definition is popping. I love how elongated this wash and go is. It's fluffy with minimal frizz. And if you guys saw the first video I did using Curl Smith's hair makeup, I did the copper and the red, but I also used it with some other non Curl Smith products and the flaking was insane, it was like crazy. And so I just changed my shirt because I was wearing white. White is not the ideal color you wanna wear when you're still manipulating it. So I definitely got some flakes after stretching my hair, understandably. I also was really heavy handed when I applied the uh, makeup of my hair. But unlike when I used the hair makeup the first time and mixed it with other products, I, I literally wouldn't have to do much and there would just be flakes literally everywhere. So that's not the case this time. It's only whenever I'm manipulating my hair that you'll start to see like some flakes and stuff. Let me know which one you guys are feeling more, the copper and the red or the copper and the gold. I'm in love with the copper. I prefer my results today because of the products I use and stuff like that and the way I parted my hair, but I think I prefer the color from last time, but they're both bomb. They are both bomb, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to another video. I hope you guys are enjoying this consistency, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I will see you on my next video.